Hello friends, Andrew Rosales here, Science Education Coordinator and Educator for the Great Basin Institute and the National Park Service, and Plant and Pollinator Enthusiast. Cabrillo National Monument, where I work, is a great place to see native plant species and the pollinators that visit them. Cabrillo sits at the tip of the Point Lumba Peninsula and consists of 160 acres of coastal sage scrub and chaparral plant communities, supporting a rich diversity of species. Within this diverse group of species, we have the pollinators. The park contains a variety of bee species, moths and butterflies, beetles, and true bugs that can pick and choose which plants to visit during the different phenological cycles that make up these plant communities. Phenology refers to the timing of biological events like budding, leafing out, flowering, and creating seed or fruit. Here is a short example. Notice the Ancilia californica in the foreground as it wakes up from its dormant state and begins to move from leafing out to blooming. Bees. Some pollinators are generalists, like these western honeybees, but others have specific plants that meet their needs for food, reproduction, and shelter. These western honeybees are an invasive species and can outcompete our native bees for resources. One such native bee family is the chimney bee. This species loves the bush mallow flowers. Another chimney bee species that we have at the park relies on cactus, like this golden spined cirrus cactus. This bee is in the sweat bee family. These bees are generalists but many of our native plants rely on them. These bees are solitary and live in individual nests tunneled into the soil. Some of these bees are brightly colored and very exciting to see visiting native plants. This longhorned bee relies on the clustered tarweed as its food source. Here we have the short sun digger bee enjoying some Stephanomeria blooms. Bumblebees are important pollinators for the plants in the nightshade family. These plants rely on bumblebees for pollination. This Sonoran bumblebee is gathering nectar from our lighthouse garden lavender. Here is a black-tailed bumblebee, moths and butterflies. This alfalfa looper is enjoying some encilia blooms. Here we have the American Lady Butterfly Caterpillar, Chrysalis, and Adult. The bear's metal mark relies on California buckwheat at the caterpillar stage. However, the adults are generalists, though they too favor the buckwheat. Next, we have the gray hair streak. This colorful caterpillar is from the tussock moth. The males are small and a dull brown color with prominent antennae. The females are flightless with short wings and they lay their eggs directly on the cocoon. The white-lined sphinx moth is always a pleasure to see. Their larva is enjoying the wishbone bush growing up to three and a half inches long before burrowing one to four inches into the ground to pupate. Flies. This secondary worm fly is enjoying some California buckwheat nectar. While this bee fly is on a Stephanomeria bloom. Beetles. Here is one of our beetle species, the soft flower beetle. Hummingbirds. Here we have an Anna's hummingbird visiting the flowers of the bladder pod. Just look at all the pollen on that beak. 
Here's a portion of our native blooms here at Cabrillo. We hope you have a chance to visit Cabrillo National Monument to see these species and the pollinators that frequent them.